All right, a very warm welcome to Why in the Morning right here. This is your daily dose. We always come with great conversations, fanfare, and laughter to kickstart your morning from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. all right here. And I'm so excited. But before we get further with the rest of the conversation, you can always jump onto our social media, and that includes Facebook, Instagram and on Twitter as well, which is at uh, Y254 channel. Instagram is Y254 underscore channel. And you can find me personally at Brian Seko 101. Sorry, I lost my voice. Thank God I recovered. I got some for you today. But anyways, welcome back. My name is Brian Sakwa. So today we are marking World Radio Day in style. And uh, before we get uh, into it, I'd just like to give you a brief history of what this means. Uh, this, uh, this was actually... Uh, uh, directed by UNESCO to celebrate radio broadcast to improve international cooperation among radio broadcasters, encourage decision makers to create and provide access to information through radio, including community radio stations as well. And it also is an occasion that draws attention to the unique value of radio, which remains the medium to reach the widest audience and is also currently taking up new technological forms and devices as directed by UNESCO. It also encourages all countries to celebrate this day by undertaking activities that include diverse partners, such as national radio broadcasters, regional and international broadcasting associations and organizations and non-governmental organizations as well. So this very day is aimed to actually, um, the theme of it being radio and peace. How do we harmonize and unite people from different communities, diverse countries, as well as diverse cultural backgrounds to come together through the power of radio? And joining us live in studio to actually give us a version of his experience as well as we get to know him. Here's Mushina Malomba. He's a radio presenter as well, by the way. He'll tell us more details about his profession and how he got into the profession as well. And you can always continue to interact with us on that hashtag why in the morning. Good morning to you, Mr. Mushina. Good morning, Brian. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> it's really funny. It's really funny yeah. how, you know, you met, there's somebody who was telling me that media is just a small bedroom. It is. You meet someone here, you work with them here, next yeah. time they're the boss here, yeah, next I know. time, you know, so it's exactly. really funny how, it it's interesting at the same time, it is you know, very how, how you're meeting on yeah. this platform. But how are you? How are you feeling? I'm well. Okay. I'm not a really morning person. I really struggle <laughs> waking up in the morning. Really? <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I, I am such a night person. I do okay. my work at night. So by yeah. the time I go to home, I sleep literally almost the whole day. So waking yeah. up today was a struggle. Hey. But here we are. <laughs> but look at you. Is it because of your radio show? Yes, it yes, yes, because of that. Because I mean, I, I, I finish my show at around 11 p.m. By the time I get home, it's like midnight. So yeah. I sleep better part of the day until in the afternoon again when I get to go to work. So What is that word that describes animals that work at night? Nocturnal. nocturnal. In that short, you're nocturnal. <laughs> <That is> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But away from that, uh, mm -hmm. just tell us a little bit, you know, who you are. Uh, yeah. your little background, blah, 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 and what you love us to know yeah. about you. <laughs> so my name, as you've said, Mushina Malomba. I am a radio presenter at Kiss FM. I am very passionate about um, just life generally. I love life. I love going out and exploring. I love traveling. Uh, and I love radio. Radio is something I think I knew from an not really an early age. I knew I am talkative. I knew I really wanted to get into media. I didn't know radio would be the medium I use. Yeah. But it's just, it's a very interesting media and uh, I'm glad to be part of it. So, yeah, basically that's just me. I'm a very full of life person, but also very shy. <laughs> really? Look at, look at this person who's saying he's shy. <laughs> I'm quite shy. <laughs> funny, yeah. Very funny. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I'm also interested to know, like, from your experience as a radio broadcaster, yeah. radio is quite different from TV. Yeah. TV is like a combination of now radio and yeah. TV now yeah, because yeah. You, we are seeing you, we are, we are hearing your voice as yes, well, yeah. we are judging your image, your personality because mm -hmm. it's more visual. Yeah. From your experience as a radio personality or mm -hmm. broadcaster, mm -hmm. what exactly is radio to you from your experience? Uh, radio is really real time, yeah. And in, in terms of like giving real time, real time information, and also radio is very interesting. Like yeah. it's all about feeling good and making the person listening feel good. You know, it's about the music. If it's a Monday morning and you're on tra in traffic, you're so stressed about whatever you're stressed about, and you hear radio and how 
someone is 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 feeling good about music you're gonna feel good about it so yeah. radio is all about like feeling good and right. When you talk about the difference, you can't tell how nervous I am right now. I can't like, say that. I can't say that. I can't say that. I'm not really that. used to this. You are confident as hell. No, because <laughs> radio, I mean, you don't get to, you don't get to see visuals. Right. It's just about your voice, but also it's how exactly you articulate your words. It's how, you know, there's a lot of like um, showmanship you need to have. Like it's, it's, you have to sell, if it's a song, you have to sell it to be as big, you know? Yeah. So it doesn't matter really how uh, crazy your day is. You really just have to be on real time and be able to, you know, sell music or sell yourself. Yeah. yeah. I remember with my co-host before we went on a break, we were talking about how radio is all about music. Yeah. And, and I'd really like to know, like, how do you connect to music? Because mm -hmm. I believe if, even as a radio broadcaster, yeah. you first connect with the music yes, itself. If yes. you don't like your playlist, then definitely yes. your listener doesn't like your playlist exactly. as well. Exactly. That's what I was saying. Like, you have to really sell the music. Um, <clears throat> uh, I started listening to, of course, music when I was, I, was, I, was, I was very young. But there's just something about music that makes you happy, you know? Right. Like, they usually say music is a universal or language it doesn't matter yeah. what language it is i yeah. mean you listen to to music from latin and they'll literally make sense to us not just by the words but yeah. how we feel and how a radio presenter puts it out there by saying how good this music is or something you sort of relate to that you know yeah. so music is big part of radio and it's just very interesting that it can it changes moods you know i'll be in a right. bad mood i'll listen to radio and yeah. i feel good about it, it so fantastic. yeah yeah my first time I listened to you before we worked together, I was in a matatu as well. Yeah, yeah. And when you said your name, I was like, I know this guy. I know him. <laughs> yeah. And when we met, you were really shocked yeah, to yeah, actually yeah. learn with school together. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, and it's really crazy. It like is. I said, funny thing, my co host as well is mm. my schoolmate. Mm. Same class, same course. Oh, wow. That's interesting. And, 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 and there's someone who was telling me, like, Circle yeah. the Universe is telling you something. Something. <laughs> if you keep on meeting people you schooled with, you homies, yeah. blah, 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 in this profession, yeah. it means something is happening which is very interesting that is very interesting funny now away from that um mm. in terms of content preparation because we live in a world of diversity right now there's there's so much happening yeah. in the world from i remember we just came from we came from the pandemic mm. uh, the covid 19 pandemic mm. people are trying to recover yeah now uh, radio as a medium to actually give people um a platform to be entertained or mm. to entertain yeah. for you how do you actually entertain your listeners on radio or your listener. I'm told it's listener, it's not listener. listeners. We talk to one person, not Only certain one people. Person. Yeah. Right. So how do I prepare? So the thing is, you have to be really relatable with uh, uh, your audience. You have to, you know, real time, what exactly is really happening around you. But also, as I've said, radio is about feeling good. People tune into radio to listen to you, not because they want to hear... Okay, especially like commercial radio stations, they don't want to hear what is happening in the country or who is bombing who. It's yeah. all about just, they want to escape. It's like an escape road, yeah. you know? People Some just, therapy Yes, session, they want to listen you know? to you because they've gone through so much during the day. They've okay. tuned in the radio because they want to feel good. So yeah. you have to really relate with them in terms of, yes, I know this is what you're going through, but here we are. Let's just jump to these heats and enjoy ourselves. And tomorrow is another day. But for now, let's just enjoy ourselves. So you have to be really relatable in terms of how I get to uh, uh, prepare my content. It's just about the people I talk to. I'll talk to you today. You'll tell me something. I'll watch on media, TikTok, what's really going on. This is happening. This is happening. And that's how you put it out there. Yeah. Right. Interesting. Because, mm -hmm. you, like you mentioned, you're connecting to this person yeah. who's list, or as a presenter in the studio, you're yeah. speaking to this person behind the mic. Yeah. You're not seeing them, you're not. but you're believing it could be, <laughs> be the president listening, <laughs> could be your future wife, yes. your ex, your yes. neighbor, your mom, <laughs> and you have to actually like just tell mm -hmm. them facts without mm -hmm. even knowing who they are. It's so it, it, it actually becomes some sort of a theater of the mind. It yeah. is actually theater. It's like theatrics because you have to really, in a way, be able to relay your information, not really knowing if, if that person is he sad, is he, is, he, is he mad, is he, what is he going through. But yeah. you have to really, that's why it's so dramatic, honestly. Right. As in the days I go to my show and I am so drained, <laughs> I'm right. so stressed about something. But the yeah. moment the mic is on, I yeah. have to you know, I have to show out and I have to, you know, make you feel good. It doesn't matter how I feel. Right. It's not about me. Radio is about you. 
So right. I'll have to show out and be able to make you, the listener, feel good about it. Right. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's interesting you mentioned that because I can only imagine on yeah. your hard days, yeah. I'm on your worst days, yeah. you know, the times you feel resentful, you're tired, you're exhausted, like you mentioned, yeah. but you have to come on and yes. swag it up and laugh. It's showbiz. Yeah. And I think right. that is one of the things uh, which is one of the challenges, honestly, to do radio right. because it doesn't matter what you've gone through. I've had, I've known people who are presenters lost their parents while on air and they'll right. still continue to do the show because nobody really cares about you like come on yeah. you're just a voice there you need to make people feel good so lost your parent you got a call there's nothing you can do about it exactly. you have to continue oh making oh yes this yeah. i love this song so much you yeah. don't love it you, you have to tell people parents. the way Alicia Keys is, is amazing <laughs> yes, on the playlist. Yes, yes. It, it's, it's really funny. It is. It is really just funny. so That is quite challenging, honestly, because sometimes you're just not in the right mindset. You're not, you're feeling, maybe you've gotten a cold. There's something going on with you, but you can't show that. You have yeah. to put on a show. You know, yeah, mm. and but sometimes when you're done, you go back to there's somebody who's telling me, Una Chashi does Zako come Langa well, studio, Una Ingia, Una Kua Superstar, you talk on a road to your depression, you, you get back to wherever. <laughs> wow, <laughs> now, uh, in this modern uh, day uh, uh, age as well, yeah. there's a lot of uh, trends in radio broadcasting, yeah, even yeah. when it comes to content. Now, there's mm -hmm. a there's a convergence where yes. we have TV, radio, digital, digital meeting, yeah. all social media and all that mm -hmm. being diverted on the same platform. Mm -hmm. From your experience, uh, how, how has it been for you? I think it's very important at this age, especially to be able to have that uh, uh, link to digital and radio because radio is a very old media. People used to listen to radio before because that is the only media that was there, right? right? But right now there's so much. I mean, in the age of TikTok right now, we get to know what is really happening in the country yeah. very fast, what is happening worldwide very fast. So it's very right. important for radio, TV, all these other old medias to be able to have that sort of convergency to be to yeah. to link to to the yeah, digital exactly. world because i mean it's 2023 everyone is is digital and yeah. it's very um i think refreshing to be able to see that you can be able to stream uh, somebody from the us can be able to listen to me on radio like that right. is what you know it's just so nice to see that exactly mm. you've made me remember you, when you mentioned the us i remembered the kina angela yes and the kina mm -hmm. shalom and the gods i'm sure you yeah. follow them the yes, bre breakfast yes, club yes you know? yes I mean, actually you know. i followed that and, and uh, this show it's, it's in a two hour one or six and park do you yes, remember it yes, in BT? i do remember it. hey from manze i wanted to be like bow wow i wanted to be like <laughs> terence j but look, look at, at me now. look at me am i am i almost close there <laughs> <You're> there <laughs> <laughs> i believe so i believe so yeah. but now when it comes to not captivating your audience yeah. bro how do you actually make that striking connection mm -hmm. with your mm -hmm. audience as a broadcaster even for someone who is watching right now mm -hmm. before you tell us what are some of the hits and misses that you get yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. you know how to actually have that spark how do mm -hmm. you strike your listener you, and get them hooked up i think you have to really understand uh the person listening to you and i mean this is how you get to know that is by you know we, we get people who call us tell us this is what's going on you know Sometimes they just sit there and listen to uh, someone who's crying because she just got broken hearted. And you know, right, it's, yeah. it's that connection to, f from a presenter to uh, the audience that really helps us to have that connection. Because people tell us their stories. People tell us what they're going on. This is what is happening. This is what I'm feeling right now. And yeah. you, with that information, it's very keen for you to be able now to put out a really good show, something that somebody is going to relate to, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's somebody, I think it's called a parasocial relationship. Mm, they say like mm. someone who knows you on yeah. radio, it, yeah. it feels like they know you or even on TV, they know everything about, <laughs> about you, you, but they have never met Mate. you. Exactly. And it's crazy. You it met is. people in town, they were like, hey, where when I could you from, yeah, from like 15 somewhere. years ago? Like, mm. really, you can remember me? Never. I'm so grown. I think I'm old. <laughs> Yeah. But it's it's really interesting it at the is. same time. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to like the hits and misses uh, mm -hmm. from your experience, what are some of the like mishaps you've come across? I'm one of those mistakes you yeah. made on radio, and you're like, if my boss <sighs> hears this, and one thing about radio is you can't unsay it. You can't unsay something once you say it. Yeah. You know, for TV you can apologize and say, yeah. oh, it's microphone, yeah. and <laughs> but for radio it's boom. Um, if there's anything I've learned is mistakes are there, but you don't acknowledge their mistakes. Right. You just move on. 
Like, it has happened, it has happened. You have said something that you're not supposed to say. You can't go on and apologize because you're not sure if somebody listened, if somebody not listened. Like, you can't start apologizing. If you apologize, people will realize, oh, there was a mistake being made. The ones right. who, didn't, who didn't listen to that mistake. So right. you make a mistake and you just go on. But I remember the first time I think I was getting into radio, it was just so nerve-wracking. Because you, yeah. you're like, oh, there's so millions of people listening to you, <laughs> one. And secondly, it's, you don't know what exactly you're supposed, what button you're supposed to touch. And I was making yeah. so many mistakes, but I came to You're realize, running the desk on your own. Yeah. Especially if you're a solo presenter. Yes, you, know? you run your desk on your own. You need to pick the calls. You need to know what song is coming, what song you're coming out. And you yeah. need to understand which, who are these artists? Like, what are they up to, you know? So, so how did you hack that? <laughs> bro, <laughs> for your, <laughs> for, cause I know, I know. <laughs> how did you hack it? It was a lot. I think at first, I remember the first time, cause there's this co thing called graveyard shift where we right. get to start uh, when you're starting radio you start mostly midnight to in the morning like midnight to 5 a.m or something so you're given that show so that even if you make mistakes not so many people listen to you right yeah. and i was just so nervous because there were things i was supposed to do there's a time i went on air and i thought i was talking to people i was talking to myself i didn't turn on the microphone turn on the mic. and then i realized you. what i have <laughs> already faded out the yes, music yes yes Good so, Lord. like, Boy, you are in trouble. <laughs> it was crazy. You are in trouble. But huh? after some time, I think you just get so, like, comfortable. You understand uh, your audience. You understand your desk. You get more confident. And, yeah, it's just so much fun, honestly. I think I have the best job, <laughs> to yeah. be honest. Really present in the world. It, yeah, it's just about <laughs> making people feel good, feel good listen yeah. to music, and have a good time. Right. Yeah. Uh, and, and thanks for mentioning that, you know, having a good time and mm -hmm. making people... You know, I was told you must be likable, you must be fluid. <laughs> now, how did you hack that skill of presentation? Because yeah. you know, um, there's, 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 there's someone uh, in my training as well, yeah, where anywhere, you know, the, I was told you're not presenting, mm. you are speaking. Mm. Speak, don't present. Yeah. Now, from your training, how did yeah. you hack it to now becoming the the person who you are today from where you practice from. You know, so weirdly, I was actually, um, um, uh, I'm a radio producer, like, professionally. I didn't right. do broadcast. But okay. broadcast is, I remember the first time I was in uh, my first lecture in college. We were told right. to, 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 you know, say our names. And I was there, ah, I'm Shina Malomba. And then the lecturer said, you have a very good voice. I was like, what do you mean? Yeah. I was never, nobody right. has ever told me Are you trying to that. fall for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what is he saying, and he All said, right. you know, you yeah. need to go to, to, we had a school radio station, he asked yeah. me to join that school radio station, which I did, it was at ECN, at KMC, right. and it was such, I was like, oh my god, this is what really, I really want, it's just right. really nice to be, a I just felt really at home, being right. able to present, I had a show of my own that time at school, the radio station, and it was just, I was like, I felt really at home, and being able to, uh, make people feel good, be able to communicate to people without yeah. people really get to see. So I go to work with shots sometimes. You will not know because it's yeah. just my voice you listen to. So I found Me that I've seen very, it. yeah. <laughs> I found that, and then I'm not an eight to five person, which right. I like because radio, you do your four hours, you go home. Yeah. So I think that is what one of those things that I was really attracted to, to, to radio very quickly. Right. Yeah. And from there, here you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, w w when it comes to even uh, content, yeah. uh, a lot of there's, there's something called audience segmentation. Remember, mm -hmm. there's a time we hosted the director for Media Council of Kenya here. I think that should be last month, mm -hmm. and he meant uh, we, we we talked about audience segmentation, meaning mm -hmm. there's people who prefer to listen to Mushina on Keys, yeah. and people who prefer to watch Sako on TV because. Yeah. They can relate maybe to Sako's yeah. uh, 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 model of yeah. broadcasting mm -hmm. or they relate to Moshina's model of broadcasting. Mm -hmm. uh, from your experience even in Kenya, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to mainstream stations mm -hmm. as well, do you feel like uh, we are hitting the mark when it comes to capturing our audience, feeding them with the right information? Mm -hmm. Not only just right, also what they need after they've listened to your show or watched your TV show as well. I think people go for, if you ask me, people go for personality more. It's 
who is Brian Sakwa, who is Mishina Malomba. It's not how they do it. I think before that was the that was the thing. Like, oh, this is how, let's say, you know, those old presenters, those legendary presenters, how they used to do it. Oh, I am whoever and whoever. How they used to say the names. But yeah. like nowadays, it's more about your personality. It's 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 who you are. Do I relate to Brian Sakwa more? You know, it's what Brian Sakwa will say during his show that I'll be like, oh, I think I relate to that, you know? So it's not really about, for me, I, I don't think it's how somebody presents, it's who a person is. Yeah. But I think capturing that, we're doing it very well because right. it's very distinct. You can clearly tell the people who love this person, there's people who love this person, and it's because of who they are. Really, right? Yeah. Uh, you, when you when you mentioned legendary pre presenters, I remember there's this time. Uh, there's this chick I look on it to a Sheila Maniga. Yes. She was legendary way back in the days. You'd listen to, I think it was Easy, Easy FM, FM back in the yes. days. And you'd think you're listening to Kinashalam and the Gods on yeah. the Breakfast Club. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Well. Yes. So I also think that also motivated me as well. Mm. And on that note, I'd also like to know who are some of the people that mm. you used to listen to on radio mm. that when you looked up to them, you were like, man, I really yeah. want to get on that platform so bad. I, I, was, I was such a huge fan of Maina. Oh, my my like again. I was such a, I think even my lecturer told me I need to stop listening to Maina because it, he was, I was being influenced on how I speak because of him, right. you know, because you just want to be someone so bad that you want yeah. to copy them. But really, um, uh, Maina is, is a legend, of course. And uh, you work with him. As yeah, well. so the, you know, the first time I saw him, I was like, oh my God, this is like a king of radio in, in, in our country. So right. Maina is, is, is like a legend, honestly. Um, um, Sheila Kwamboka is, is right. really good at what she does. I listen to people, other people like um, uh, Willie M. Tuva also is such a legend in the industry. So those are people like I've I been listening to and I like draw my inspiration from them. Okay. Yeah, so it's very, they're very, like, inspiring for at least almost every <laughs> radio presenter. Right. Mm. Now, when it comes to uh, dynamics of radio, mm -hmm. there's a lot that happens in the mainstream space as mm -hmm. well as uh, just the whole general uh, platform of radio. Yeah. Uh, how do you handle competition as a broadcaster? For example, there's someone who's watching back at home mm -hmm. and uh, they've started a podcast. Right now, you can start your own podcast yeah. and it ends up becoming a, a, yes. a radio show as well. Mm -hmm. For a person who's watching back at home, they have mm -hmm. a vision of becoming a radio broadcaster. Mm -hmm. How can they you know, manage that stiff competition? Because mm -hmm. it's very cutthroat as well. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you must bring something on the table yeah. you know, for you to be considered into a space. You need to be really hungry for it. Okay. Uh, it took me six years to get to radio. It took me such a long time. And it's because I was very hungry about it. I knew what I really wanted. I, I, I really just took myself out there. And like, as cliche as it sounds, just never give up. I was told so many no's and, you know, I was almost giving up or not even really, because at that point I was like, I don't want to do radio anymore because I'm not getting a job. But like just being persistent about it. Nowadays with the, with, with, um, with the internet, you can, as you've said, you can be able to start your own podcast, start your own YouTube channel. That's how people also get discovered. But if you really just want to get into mainstream, I mean, it's competitive. That's what I was told when I was getting into radio. Oh, there's so many. Who do you think you're going to replace? Everyone is there. Like, you're not going to get a job. But you just have to be passionate about it. You have to be hungry about it. You have to not give up, honestly, and put yourself out there. Like, apply to as many places, do the podcasting, do the YouTubing, put yourself out there and... After that, just let it be, because there's nothing else you can do, is do what you have to do, and then let it be. And then yeah. if it comes to you, perfect. If it doesn't come to you, make it work, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Because, uh, like we said, it's, it's a lot of competition, mm. and you have to be fit for it. Yes. There's somebody who's telling me you're either made for it, mm. or you make yourself for <laughs> it. Now, today's, uh, today's theme, which is uh, Radio and Peace, yes. and uh, uh, I'll read for you a little bit of an excerpt a little bit later mm -hmm. on as we yeah. complete the show. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the theme for this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to uniting people, uh, radio is, is, is like the fast, 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 fast tool yeah. that actually gets people hooked into conversations. Yes. When a president addresses the nation, mm -hmm. you, you realize that uh, in Kenya you have over 200 local radio stations mm -hmm. that speaks in vernacular language as well. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of outreach and uh, 
reaching out to the minorities, especially marginalized people that can't, you know, access, you know, a TV, mm -hmm. like a mm -hmm. TV set. Yeah. They'd rather listen to radio to as radio. well. Mm -hmm. When it comes to even that widespread and outreach, do you feel like we are achieving it as a country? Mm -hmm. Or do you feel like there's more to be done and maybe we should give ourselves mm -hmm. time? before to forget levels as like international um, radio distribution platforms i mean radio radio is uh, radio is key radio has been there for such a long time and even right now in 2023 with 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 the internet and and uh, uh, all that is happening around because we all get information from our from our palm of our hands radio is still king people listen to radio every day in the morning coming to work like we are doing a good job of, uh, i'm sure that we we should be or could be doing much better in terms of especially bringing converging the digital and radio together i think as kenyans as as, as the industry in kenya we need to do more about that because other people are doing it so perfectly well right but i think we radio is just king i don't think this we need to try hard about it because it's been there for a long time it yeah. is there right now and it is just doing the job like right. people listen to radios in cars whether they like it or not they listen to it you know right. and it's just very um it's very interesting to see that after so many years radio right. is still one of the leading medias honestly in the industry right uh let me just read for you uh an excerpt here that mm. says uh the early history of radio is it it dates back to its technology that mm. produces and uses instruments that use radio waves within a timeline of radio. Many people have contributed to the inventions and the mm -hmm. theory set as well that started started off from a radio development program of a wireless telegraphy. And then uh, historical wise, they're saying it dates back to 1895, where a young Italian named uh, Guglielmo Marconi, I believe this should be a uh, France. Mm -hmm or a Greek, uh, Guglielmo Marconi, who invented what, what was called the wireless telegraph that was used in an experiment, and mm -hmm. then it was later on used to transmit a radio wave. And then later on, radio became the cheapest form of entertainment. It was the most popular medium during World War II. Mm -hmm. Its accessibility and availability meant that it fueled propaganda and could be used to reach a large number of citizens, and it also helped to entertain and inform population. From your experience as a, a broadcaster, mm -hmm. do you feel like a lot of people in Kenya listen to radio more, mm -hmm. or the balance between radio, TV, and print? I think there's a balance. I mean, you, you find people who are like uh, older generation who are just so used to listen to, I mean, to read newspapers first and foremost in the morning and listen to radio. Uh, but there's also a balance because, I mean, the younger generation are more into digital. People want to just know what is going on. They'll go to Twitter, they'll find TikTok and find out what is really going on in the world. And uh, as much as there's a balance, that old media is something that you can't really just get rid of easily, honestly. Yeah. I mean, TV has been here for, for years We're, and you guys are still here, you know, and yeah. you're doing the job. People, if you want to find authentic, they know they might not find, they might hear stories on, 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 on Twitter, but the, for them to make sure they'll come to the TV and see what is really going on. Is that really what is happening? Right. And uh, it's just very interesting to see that those old medias are still there. And yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Now, when it comes to mentorship, mm -hmm. <laughs> before, before you become anything yeah. <laughs> or before you become something, mm -hmm. you must at least go through training. Mm -hmm. And... Um, um, I, I believe I believe even in in a generation where a young people are more enthusiastic yeah. they're, they're, we have a lot of ambitious young people like you you listen to a radio station right now yeah. there's 18 year olds 19 mm. year olds mm -hmm. talking on radio yeah. as compared to like way back like way you mentioned back, there's 50 year true, olds true. so in terms of mentorship mm. if a young person has a vision of getting to radio. Mm. How can they get to that place where they have someone? Like for you, you said you had my Nakageni. Mm. How can they identify a person that can mentor them and nurture them to a place where they finally hack it mm. and now get be ready to be a professional on a platform? Because I believe you have to go through all of that, especially right now. Yeah, you have to, and also you, you don't have to. In a way that, yes, like for me, I went to a school, yes, there are people I used to look up to, Maynak again, he didn't mentor me, but it's just somebody I used to really look up to. And you relate with people, as I've said before, you relate with people uh, because of their personality, who they really are. If you feel like Willie M. Tuva is, or Maina or whoever is, Sheila Kwamboka or Bina, you look up to them and realize, okay, this is what they do. Like, follow the sort of... Uh, 
follow them in terms of like what they're doing how did they, like i was very invested to know the presenters in the industry what the what their life story was or is like how did they get into radio but with all said and done it just comes down to you and what you really want all right like you have to make sure this is what I really want. You have to be hungry about it. You have to really be passionate about it. Listen to as many presenters as possible. Find out somebody that really speaks to you and be able to sort of follow their footsteps. Find out, do you have to go to school? You can go to school, but sometimes nowadays it's all about personality. Whatever right. degree you're on, as long as you have a talent to speak to people and make people feel good, okay. that's just what it matters, right? All right, yeah. which is great, amazing, I love mm -hmm. that. And I think on that note, we're going to take a very short break. When we come back, he'll be telling us how exactly can we use radio to influence <laughs> people's cultures or to actually, you know, borrow people's ideas and get to, you know, experience diversity as well as how do you hack a radio job in Kenya. He'll be telling us that and much more. So we take a very short break. We come back. Please stay on that hashtag, why in the morning. Why two five four?